UK's annual home game in Freedom Hall comes tomorrow night against UNC Asheville. Today, Coach Cal had his cats in the home of the Cardinals for an open practice, much to the pleasure of the solid blue fans who showed up. Now, tomorrow's game precedes a tough stretch for UK, which includes showdowns with North Carolina, Connecticut, and Indiana. So Calipari has been pretty intense in practice lately. But I have asked them, am I expecting too much? Am I demanding too much? And they're like, no, no. Because, you know, I'm, I've been hard on them. This is, you know, if you're not doing what you're supposed to, you stop playing. I'm right there, like next to you. <laughs> and um, so, but they're, they're doing great. To the football cats, there was a feeling in the air at Commonwealth Stadium last night that this streak was going to end. And you see the signs. It ends tonight. Hell, UK had a great start to this game. Made you feel like it might end. The senior on senior day, Sam Maxwell, steps in front of the pass, goes 56 yards. And the Cats, they had a 21-14 lead at halftime. But Tennessee comes back to take a 24-21 lead. Had the ball late in the fourth quarter. Berea native, Luke Stalker, right there, fumbles. Cats recover, get the break they needed to win this thing. Well, now on third and five inside UT's 15-yard line, Morgan Newton comes up short. UK settles for a field goal to tie the game, send it to overtime. UK got the ball first in OT, did not score. It took Tennessee only three plays to score in overtime. Ontario Hardesty goes 20 yards for the game-winning touchdown. The Volunteers beat Kentucky yet again. Our Kent Spencer saw it all and has this report. What can you say other than a great game? But at the end, it's the Tennessee fans singing Rocky Top in the stands after their 25th consecutive victory over Kentucky. I figured we, we had a tremendous field position. Our defense made a great play and got us the ball back. We had every opportunity to make something happen out of it, and we didn't. It's very tough. We had a chance to do something that hadn't been done around here and finish second in the SEC East, and uh, we, we failed. It was really hard, you know. I feel like after a game like this, you feel like you let a lot of people down, let a, let a senior class down. Um, you know, had a great, um, you know, a great turnout from UK fans. You feel like you let them down. Um, families of seniors, it's just, it's just tough, you know. It's tough, it's tough to lose one like that. Oh, it eats at me. I'm tired of watching those grainy films of me and my teammates. <laughs> You know, because that's what they showed. It showed the last time that we, we beat them. And, that, and uh, I'm sick and tired of watching that, that, that film. And, uh, you know, the thing we got to do is got to get this thing to back to being a rivalry. And the way you get it back to being a rivalry to win some. I'm extremely proud of my teammates and all that we've accomplished. And, you know, one loss on senior night to Tennessee can't take that away. You know, it hurts. It hurts. But it is what it is. And, and we'll move forward. We'll learn from it. And, and, and we'll be all right. What's left for the Cats? to see which bowl game they'll be headed to in the postseason. Reporting at Commonwealth Stadium, Kent Spencer, ABC 36, your local news source. Thank you, Kent. Now back to hoops. Lexington's new professional basketball team, the Bluegrass Stallions, making their ABA season debut today, hosting Nashville's Music City Stars. This is where they will play this season, the new arena at the Kentucky Horse Park. Former Wildcats Bobby Perry, Ravi Moss, and Wukash Orbzut all suiting up for the Stallions now, led by head coach Kyle Macy. Rough going early on. Henry Clay alum, Aubrey White, running the break. He loses the ball. Bobby Perry, uh, a little rusty. Uh, the putback doesn't even go. Now, the Music City Stars had no trouble finishing at the rim. Nice follow dunk. And then later, Bobby Perry shaking off that rust. The little string music from downtown, but these Stallions have a little work to do. They lose their opener 128 to 87. <laughs> Bengals and Browns today. Carson Palmer rolling out, looking, and finding J.P. Foshi in the end zone. Bengals beat the Browns 16 7 to finish their division schedule. A perfect 6 0 against the AFC North. That's never happened before for the Bengals. Palmer's TD pass to Foshi makes the Jack Kane 4 play of the day.